Hey, what's up y'all? It's Fire for Days. Today, uh, I got some more Long Mentor content for you. I'm going to show you how to make your own server. Uh, this is really easy to do. Uh, first off, all the links are going to be in the description down below. So I'm going to walk you through it here. Uh, you will first want to come to streamless.com, scroll down. In order to run the server, you need, my camera's in the way, you need to have these system requirements in order to run it. Uh, the first program you're going to need to have is Steam installed. Uh, the second one is Git for Windows. I'm going to show you that right now. You want to come to this page, hit download. And while that is downloading at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and download the other one. Download this one. Those really don't take that long to download. Uh, and we want to click on both of these and make sure we run them. So I'm going to run this one really quick. Uh, you want to hit accept, next, next. Boom, that one's done. And now we want to run the other program. Uh, it's some safety stuff's gonna pop up. Just go ahead and hit accept on those. And this is gonna have a lot of next. Uh, so you just wanna scroll through. I looked through all these. Um, you wanna make sure you keep all the defaults. You don't wanna mess anything. So this is go ahead and installing. And once it get in, gets installed, we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so that's installed now. You can go ahead and close out these windows. Uh, next, you're going to need to port forward. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my router. This is different for everybody depending on what router you have. I have Cox. And so if you also have Cox, you type in 192.168. Uh, I have hotkeys for my numbers. That's why my screen's freaking out. Dot zero dot one. Now you're going to come to this login. You want to go ahead and log in. I'm going to cut this out because obviously I don't want people to know my logins. But after you get logged in, I'll show you where to go next. So we're going to scroll down and now we want to go to port forwarding. Um, I can't show you this next step on Cox, but once you get to port forwarding, um, I had to do this on mobile, uh, but for other people, you're going to have to do it on your gateway for your browser. And it just depends. You have to look up what gateway you need to use. Um, but next, once you get there, you need to set up your TCP and UDP protocols and you need to add both of these 27015 and 27016. You need to add both of those or this will not work. So once you get your port forwarding done, like I said, I can't show you here, but you need both of these for it to work. The next step is you want to download the files from uh, GitHub. Okay, the next step, you wanna hit git bash here. Say git clone. And on the website, it's gonna show you this code right here, it says to just paste and copy that into this uh, command window. That doesn't necessarily work. Uh, what you wanna do is actually click on this link. It's gonna bring up this. You wanna click on code uh, and keep HTTPS on and say copy this link. Once that link is copied, we can minimize this window. Hit space and paste this code in there. Now it's cloning and you're gonna see it's compressing all those files into this server. Uh, boom, done, done. You're just gonna wait for all of this to be finished. Once this next text pops up, that means you're done. So you can go ahead and close that out. Uh, and let's go back and look at the next step. So the next step is you wanna customize this server. And in order to customize the server, you have to go into Windows Server, Long Venter, Saved, Config, Windows Server again, and now you want to say add a new text document. So boom, there's our text document, leave it blank, go in here, and you want to copy this whole code that's here. Basically what this code is gonna do is gonna allow you to change the number of players that are in there, uh, allow you to change the name of the server, and allow you to change the password of the server. So once I have that copied, I'm gonna go paste, and I'm going to say file save as. And this is really important that you do this right. Game.ini. And then you want to change this to say all files. Once that says all files, you go ahead and hit save. And now I can also change this. So I'm not going to change the max players, but I'm going to change the name of my island to fire for days. Uh, I'm going to make this password fire. I'm going to say file save. Now I can go ahead and close this out. Go back to this. Um, so now you can see you have a game document here. We can go ahead and delete this 
And now there's only a few more steps left. We can go back to the main thing, uh, right click on long venter and say, create shortcut. Once you have that shortcut created, you want to right click that and go to properties. And then right where here you want to hit where it says target, you hit space dash log. And basically this is just going to be an easier way to start your server. Once that's done, you want to hit apply and hit OK. Now, basically you're done at this point. All you have to do is hit run the server. It's a whole bunch of stuff's gonna pop up. This is just it running all the processes. Uh, while that's going on, you can go ahead and close all this out. And we're gonna give this some time to finish. Okay, once this is done, you're gonna see um, it says game session succeeded. So now we need to check and make sure that this indeed did work. So I'm gonna go to Steam, open up Steam, you want to go to view servers hit refresh and you're going to get a code that looks like this it's going to be a lot of numbers but basically it's going to say long venter that's how you know you got the port forwarding right so i can go ahead and close this out and to make sure that it's working through long venter you don't want to close this window go ahead and just minimize this open up long venter hit play Scroll down. Okay, here we go. Fire for days. Click that. The password is fire. And hit connect. And that's basically pretty much it. You now have your own server and you can invite your friends, give them the password. Um, this server is not going to be keeping up. I just uh, uploaded this for tutorial purposes. Uh, so this server is not going to be open for you guys to play on. Um, in the future, if you'd like a server to play on, I can go ahead and run one. Um, I can make it dedicated so you guys can play on it. But yeah, that's basically how you get your own server. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you have any other questions or problems, go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll make sure to reply to you. Thanks.